Hi there, it's Rob from Monstage Lighting. Welcome to another one of our Vectorworks Spotlight tutorials. If you've seen the previous tutorials on Vectorworks Spotlight, we've kind of went through drawing things in 2D, so drawing a theatre plan in 2D, adding some fixtures, lighting fixtures, and working with lighting data. So we kind of got the basics of how to draw a lighting plan in 2D using Vectorworks, and we got to know quite a few of the 2D tools. Today we're going to look at drawing in 3D, to start off with then, drawing in 3D is kind of different uh, in any CAD program. It's kind of more modelling rather than it is uh, drawing because if you're a very competent draftsman either you know with a pen or in CAD you like to think you can do absolutely everything uh, beautifully in 2D and that might be the case because what actually you're doing when you're drawing in 3D is you're kind of making models in 3D computer space of the things that are going into your drawing whether it be the theatre or the scenic elements, or anything like that. The benefit of uh, drawing in 3D is that you can test kind of real objects in 3D space, so you don't have to rely on drawing and redrawing lots of views, uh, sections and elevations and stuff like that, in order to test uh, stuff in 3D space. You effectively do that anyway when you're modelling the objects, uh, it's just that you have, uh, you have more control and uh, you, you can more easily test things in that space. And also it will give you the 3D environment that you can then uh, use in a uh, lighting visualisation program such as ESP Vision or uh, WYSIWYG or anything like that. What you get from 3D, once you've modelled the, uh, the geometry in 3D, is you get multiple views and you can create drawings from that one model. So it's effectively like making a, a cardboard model box that you can then take pictures of from various angles. What it does mean uh, when you're drawing in 3D is that organisation and navigation of the document is absolutely crucial because it's complicated enough um, organising a 2D drawing. But when you're working in 3D, you can uh, everything gets a lot more complicated quite quickly. When it comes to producing the final drawings, the sort of things that you'd print out and send to your crew or whatever, uh, what you're doing is you're creating different views of the model or, or cuts of the model using Vectorworks viewports. Um, and we'll we'll talk about that in a future tutorial, but that's how you end up with your final drawings. So let's go straight over to Vectorworks and have a look. Okay, so when um, we were working in 2D, we were creating images that were basically a 2D drawing. So here I've got a, a very simple 2D venue. You can see the plan view there. There's a little kind of stage there, and there's some doors and bits and pieces, the kind of thing you'd see in plan view. Below, I've drawn another 2D drawing, which is just a set of lines and shapes and stuff. Um, and that is the section view of the plan, the kind of way you'd normally draft stuff by hand. So plan one, you know, and lined up with a section next to it. So that's the kind of thing we're going to start off working with. But first I need to show you something quite important when it comes to working in 3D, and that's to do with the views. So what we were looking at just then and what we're looking at right now is... Um, the 2D view, the top view of a thing. Now, this is a uh, 1 meter by 2 meter uh, rectangle. In order to see it in 3D, I need to change the view. Now, there's another tricky part to this as well with Vectorworks. If you have drawn something, and if you look in the object info browser, it says screen plane. When you change the view, the, the object will stay on the screen plane. So that's the, basically it's drawn on the back of the screen, if you like. So you can use that for lots of things, but things that never change when you change the view. So what I need to make sure is, I want to make sure it's in a layer plane. So what I'll show you now is I'm just going to flick to the right isometric view. And it says it's right isometric up here, up on the views bar. And, a t and the front view, and all of the views on here, including 2D top plan, this object doesn't move. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to show you what I mean. So that object there is in screen plane. This object here I'm going to change to layer plane. So now when I swap to 2D, or when I swap to 3D right isometric, you can see now that object there has now basically turned into a, a rectangle that's lying on the floor. And if I go back to top plan, you can see it comes back again. The one next to it is in screen plane, and when I flick to right isometric, which is the 3D view, uh, it stays where it is. So it's very important that objects that you want to draw in 3D space are drawn in a uh, 2D objects uh, are drawn in a in the layer plane before you start work. Because what we're going to do to start off with is I'm just going to show you how to create a 3D object from this thing here. So 
let's say this is a piece of staging. We've drawn it in 2D. It's a piece of one meter by two meter staging. And what we want to do is turn it into a block. Now there's lots of 3D tools in Vectorworks and there's loads of different things you can do, but the simplest thing to start off with is what I want to do is extrude this block into a 300 mil bit of staging, 300 mil high. So I'm going to select the stage. Now a lot of the 3D tools are up here in model and I'm going to drop down model and go to extrude. And what it will give me is a um, number which I can fill in the extrusion number which I'm going to do 300 mil and I'm going to go OK. And you can see there that has now created me a block. Now if I go back to top plan, the 2D view, you can see usual thing. There's my uh, there's my 2D plan view of the stage, if you like. If I look at right isometric, there it is in 3D. And if I also look at the front view, you can see there's the front view of the stage. So you can see how the different views are, and are basically based around a model. Um, uh, how the different views can relate to kind of different traditional drawings like a front elevation or a section uh, or a plan. So now we've cleared that up, let's flick on back to our drawing and have a look at the real thing. Okay, so back at our drawing then, uh, this is our theatre, as I said, this is the plan view and there's the section view. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to start to build the theatre in 3D. So at the moment it's just in 2D, 2D lines, uh, 2D shapes. And I can prove that to you by setting it to uh, right isometric. So you see there, there's some lines here. That's that's my lines. That's the outline. There's the stage outline. There's the outline of my text there. Now also the dimension lines have changed, but this uh, the section has stayed in screen, what seems like into screen plane. Now I've made sure that all of these objects are set to layer plane. What I haven't got set at the moment is I haven't locked all of the layers, all of the design layers, to change when I change the view. So what I need to do is I need to hit Unified View, which is this little stack with a bracket around it. And now when I go to uh, Right Isometric, you can see there's all my lines there. So I'm just going to, what we're going to do is we're going to use this ground plan here. So imagine you had a 2D ground plan that you wanted to create uh, something from th uh, into a 3D version of it. And we're just going to use the dimensions here on the uh, the top, uh, the section. Um, so, like for instance, a four meter high room, a 300 mil high stage, uh, and the door dimensions are there. So we're not going to use this geometry to actually create our 3D model. Uh, we're just going to use the uh, the plan geometry. So remember, I was just talking about extrude. So the first thing we want to do is we want to extrude these walls up four meters to create our walls for the venue. Now if you remember I go to extrude, and this time I need to go to 400, 4000. That's great. So now what I've got is I've got my venue walls are extruded into a 3D shape. Now at the moment we look at it in wireframe view, which is quite good for drawing and for being able to see stuff. But what I can prove to you is that it's actually an object, solid object. If I change the render here, over where this little teapot is, I'm going to set it to OpenGL, which is a kind of a fast render. And look, you can see there we've actually created a solid shape. If I go to, uh, let's go back to wireframe a sec, and I'll just go to a front view, and you can see, look, there's the front view of the venue. So that was quite quick, wasn't it? So what we've done now is we want to create, uh, we want to extrude the stage up. So I'm going to extrude the stage, and the stage was a 300 mil extrusion, wasn't it? Nice and simple. So there's our stage there. Now the thing is, what I want to do now is I want to put the doors in. The interesting thing about the doors is obviously we've got a solid wall here, this is a solid block. And what I want to do is I want to cut out the doors. Now when you get into Vectorworks there's actually a, a number of tools which we'll look at a bit later on um, to create walls and doors and stuff like that. They're called AEC objects and it's kind of a common uh, CAD uh, trick for creating wall objects and stuff like that. But for now we're just going to try out using some of the uh, tools in Vectorworks to, um, to create this for ourselves. So we've got our wall here what we want to do is cut out a doorway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, I'm going to try and select the door frame, and I'm going to extrude the outside of the door frame up two meters. Now you see that's created another shape there. So what I'm going to do next is I want to take that shape from my outer wall. 
So in order to do that, I'm going to shift select the two shapes. I'm going to go back to modify and I'm going to add model and I'm going to go subtract solids. And then it will give me a little dialog box that will make sure that I select the object I want to uh, subtract it from. So when you go uh, and left and right, it flicks through the various objects. And I'm going to make sure the object is set to the main wall object and then go OK. And you can see there, look, that's already happened there. It's cut me a door out. I'll just go back to OpenGL and show you that. So there's my door cut out. I'm going to do the same over here. Extrude the door frame by two. Subtract solids. OK. So there's my two door frames cut out. I'm also, I want to extrude these two door elements here as well. So those doors, because it's it's drawn on the uh, section, it's drawn that the doors are 1915 high. So I'm going to extrude those up. 1915. And there's my door elements. The same thing again with the frame. I'm going to just draw, extrude these up, um, the, the door top of the door frame, the jam, and I'm going to ex just extrude them up 85, because that's um, on the drawing list, they're 85 mil high, quite a thick jam. But then I also want to move them up that far. So what I want to do is I'm going to send them up two meters. So when I got my object selected, these two extrusions, I'm going to just select this thing where it says bottom Z, and then I'm going to go 2M, and it will send them to the top of the door. Now what that's done is it sent the bottom to the top side of the door. So what I actually need to do is I need to drop them down by the thickness of the of the jam. And that's quite easy because I'm just going to demonstrate an easy way of doing that. I'm going to type in minus 85 mil and you can see there it's dropped them down. The last thing I want to do to model up these uh, door frames is I'm going to select up the uh, four parts of the internal of the frame. I'm going to then extrude them again and I'm going to do the same thing as I did this last time. So I'm going to go 2000 minus 85. Now you see, that's, the good thing about the Vectorworks is you can do those calculations within the drawing. Now you could, you know, do the calculations in your head, but I'm no good at maths, so I tend to like Vectorworks to do it for me. Now what I want to do is I'm actually going to create these, these door jams are going to become all one object. So what I need to do is I'm going to select both of them and this time I'm going to go add solids. Now you can see there they turn from three objects into one. I'm going to do the same there. You'll see it's three objects into one. So that's cool. So we've got a venue and a stage and some doors and some walls and so basically using the extrude method you can actually do quite a lot of your uh, 3D modeling using that particular method especially if you start off with a drawing uh, a 2D drawing um, in plan view you can often extrude quite a lot of that drawing into the height you want it to So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, we've looked at the views uh, in 3D and how to navigate your way around the 3D space and how to uh, turn some 2D lines of a theatre drawing, a theatre plan, into some 3D geometry uh, in readiness to start building up a 3D model of a theatre um, and lighting plan. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon.